just gone 10 to 1. We've talked a lot on the show over the last few days about the success of the Channel 4 programme It's a Sin. Now, one of the themes that the show explores is coming to terms with your sexuality. Well, I want to introduce you now to 20-year-old Somrido Dasgupta. Now, he grew up in India, moved to the UK when he was a teenager, where he went to college here in Berkshire, actually. And he is an androgynous model, which means that he expresses his gender in a way that doesn't necessarily fit into our stereotypical ideas of what masculine or feminine is. Uh, But he says that when he tried to express himself in India, he received homophobic abuse, which is why he moved to the UK in the first place. I've been speaking to him about his experiences. Because I was in India, I never like really had the freedom to like explore um, the things that like I'm doing now. Because basically in our culture, a lot of emphasis is like placed upon like masculinity if you're a man and like people expect you to like look really masculine if, if you're a man and stuff. And like if you like don't do that, it's like a very, how to explain it? Because like our country is very collectivist. And we really care about like what our friends think about us, what our neighbors think about us. So um, it's like not just your parents who, who you're disappointing, but like it's like the whole whole society you're disappointing in a way. Did you feel as though you you had to come to the UK in order to live that androgynous life? Is it something that you couldn't have achieved in India? I think so. Yeah, definitely. Basically, um, so I think I moved in the UK around 2015, and. Like back then, it was like illegal to be like gay in India, and like also gay marriage was like illegal in India, and it just got legalized like back in 2018. Um, people's mindset surrounding it has not really changed. Like people still do not really see like gay people in the same light as they see um, straight people. So yeah, it like always like felt a bit claustrophobic, and that's why like I felt that like I need to like move somewhere like where people like understood me more. Basically, I was in a YouTube video which was like trending on YouTube for four weeks and like the video had like a lot of like participants and stuff um but like in the video i was like dressed in like a very androgynous manner like i was like wearing a mesh t-shirt and like i was wearing makeup and dangly earrings and stuff and like i was feeling super confident and like super like myself in the video um but like when the video aired like the comment section was like literally inundated with like homophobic comments about me and stuff like people like didn't like even care about the content of the video but like they were like more concerned about like my appearance in the video and like how i was portraying myself why do you think it matters to anyone how you dress why do you think it matters to someone so much that they would go that far as to direct abuse at you based upon what I mean, you're it wearing it really shouldn't like it like really shouldn't because like, it's like none of your business and like if i'm like feeling comfortable you know like being myself and like wearing something feminine like what's your problem because like, it's like not like affecting you yeah but then at the same time i really feel that um this is happening because of like sexism because as, as i said before like when i looked masculine like people i didn't really care but like when i looked feminine there was so much hate so yeah i really feel that like the homophobia that i receive is like deep rooted in um sexism and like most of the gay men receive homophobia because people are still sexist do you think it's got better in time i mean have you have you experienced less resistance as time has gone on because i think we all like to think that that we've moved on a bit over the last few years yeah yeah. absolutely like basically like the people like support me at the moment like the the number of those people is like way more than like the people who like you know hate me and like who are like homophobic towards me so absolutely there's like a whole whole community of people who like really like me who like really appreciate my work my activism um the things i'm doing so like that's incredible that's some Riddow's story on BBC Radio Barchi.